So I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the question, what's going on when we test software? It turns out the answer is a lot of different things are going on. So here I'd like to start off with the output produced by a test case. It's going to pass through the acceptability check. And what we're doing when we check the output of a test case for acceptability is we're running a little experiment. And this experiment can have two possible results. One result is the output's OK, in which case we're going to go run another test case. And the question is, what do we learn in that case? And the answer is, unfortunately, not very much. What we might have done at best is increased our confidence just a tiny, tiny bit that the software under test is correct. And as it so happens, we stand to learn a whole lot more when the output is not OK. And the process I'm going to talk about right now is if the acceptability check fails, that is to say, the test output is not OK, we have to discover what's happening. And so, of course, what we expect is much of the time we'll have found a bug in the software under test. If that's the case, we're going to go fix it. And if not, there are still plenty of other possibilities. And one of the main ones is a bug in our acceptability check. If so, we're going to fix it. If not, we should consider the possibility that there might be a bug in our specification. It's often the case that debugging the specification is a fairly large part of debugging because the specification often is not written down or it's not written down particularly formally. It's just sort of a, it's just an English document or an understanding among a group of people. And very often, we're learning what it is that we needed to implement as we're implementing the software. So if that's not the case, though, if the bug was not in our acceptability check, not in the software under test, and not in the specification, now we actually have, we, we still have some possibilities, but they're getting more difficult to deal with. Some of the worst debugging stories that you hear stem from a flaw in the operating system, in the compiler, in runtime libraries, or even in the hardware. Since fixing these kind of bugs is often not an option for us because we've purchased these things or otherwise gotten these from some other vendor, often they have to be worked around and this can be extremely painful. So if that is the case, we have a hard road ahead of us, but at least we know the, where the flaw is. If that's not the case, we're at a bit of an impasse. So what is it that's really going on here? What's the big picture here? Well, as I was saying, what a test is is a tiny experiment where a failed test reveals that something is wrong, reveals that something is flawed in either our understanding of the system or in some part of the system. And there might be a fairly elaborate process in figuring out what the problem is. These kind of discoveries that we're making about the system that we're using are not necessarily a problem because these are things that we need to know if we're going to create correct software in the future. 